The following video is my portion of the Confronting Ruby Fandom Toxicity video that was recently released by Twin Zinc, featuring myself, Twin Zinc, Judgmental Critter, Murder of Birds, Klaxon, Fat Man Falling, and Celtic Phoenix. In it, we discuss how we've each been affected by the toxic nature, why this issue has been such a long-standing problem, and ways we hope things can change for the better. Regardless of your stance on the show, the fans, or the people involved in this video, we hope you watch and really take note of what's being discussed, so we can start making a real effort to promote a healthier community environment for all of us. Links to the full video in the description and card above. Please discuss this maturely, and thank you for watching. In terms of my experience over the years with the fandom, it's definitely been mostly positive. Um, but I've had my fair share of less than fun times as well. Uh, thankfully I've had no personal attacks or any comments that have thrown at me and caused me any harm. Um, but one moment that always stuck in my mind was uh, as a result of one time I was on a stream with uh, Fat Man Falling, uh, Dashi Lee, Celtic Phoenix and Vex Viewer. I can't recall exactly if it was during the stream or after it, but I remember someone saying that they were, well someone was just giving me flack for interacting with these guys, uh, more so vexed because they're more known as part of the hate them for a sense, uh, because they are among the fans with maybe the most notable uh, negative criticism being shared. Um, and I just couldn't wrap my head around that. Uh, for one, all the guys on the stream have been very kind to me. Um, they've respected my opinions and in turn, I'm pretty much the same with them. Uh, I may not always agree with them, but I always respect their opinions and treat them as I would like them to treat me. Um, and even now we're still getting along very well, so clearly there wasn't any issue. But someone have an issue with me interacting with these guys because they themselves have issues with their opinions? That's just so strange to me because it flew in the face of the exact reason why I started making Ruby videos in the first place, because I wanted to communicate with the community. I've been here since the very beginning of both the show and the fandom, and around a volume 2, when there was barely even a concept of Ruby Tubers, uh, I started doing episode reviews because I wanted to share my thoughts, both positive and negative, um, and also get a fresh perspective from everyone that I shared my opinions with. Um, or at the very least, interact with other fans so my enjoyment of the show wasn't just kept to myself. And while it's been such a treat to see the show and the community grow so big all over the world, adding in more creative faces and folks more than happy to share their opinions and their enjoyment of the show, it has also sadly led to seeing several people step away from interacting with the fandom because of arguments over criticism, senseless insulting over likes and dislikes, or just flat out bullying. Um, despite those being targeted, being just as big of the fans of the show as those throwing the insults their way. Um, but of course that's not to say that it's all Ruby fans, of course not. The larger a fandom grows, the more than like you gonna pick up some very toxic sorts, and I am never gonna buy into the mindset of damning the whole for the actions of the few. Especially when I've seen this same mindset, same attitude, same circumstances happening for all kinds of communities, be it anime, sports, or even worse off, in real life. I wouldn't look at an asshole fan at a sporting event and go, that is the absolute embodiment of all fans in attendance. Of course not, it's just the loud minority being especially loud in that moment, and I think anyone who does believe in that kind of mindset is only adding to the problems. It doesn't help either that Ruby fans have always had it pretty hard uh, when it comes to dealing with how others view them in a negative light, as even early on we were getting mocked for liking the show uh, from anime diehards, or um, people tearing the show and thus the fans as well, a new one for the show's admittedly early flaws. 
Not to mention the unfortunate online climate we're in where, nowadays, you don't just hate something and move on. You make roasting videos and long comment threads about why blank sucks. And, as well, you make yourself a troll or a bully online and you get absolutely zero punishment even if you get banned because you're hidden away behind a online persona. This difficulty of handling uh, negativity has been especially uh, straining in recent years for the fandom uh, as a whole for having to cope with uh, the after effects of incidents born largely out of their own hands, uh, such as the RT layoffs and crunch time, uh, the Vic Mignogna and Ryan Haywood incidents, uh, folks pushing false narratives about Monty's vision, misleading information, and so on. It's why I feel the root cause of many issues within the fandom towards hate and negativity and just flat out toxicity uh, is a strong clash of toxic attacks on Ruby and its fans versus a strong toxic overprotection from the fans and a misguided effort to fight back. Many within the fandom have had to deal with so much negative energies and attitudes thrown their way that it's caused some of them to grow too defensive uh, to anything they view as negative, even if it's not actually negative at all, or if it's not exactly a big enough issue for them to really warrant lashing out. It should be fine to say, I don't like Bumblebee's development, and be not viewed as a homophobic. You should be okay with not liking certain narrative choices without being called stupid or something much worse. Heck, it should be perfectly fine for you to be a mostly positive uh, stance of opinion on the show and not be called an RT bootlicker. But sadly, this is the current circumstances of the back and forth of people fighting hate with hate, causing even a positivity outlook uh, just to become a negative, and this mentality needs to stop. There's nothing gained from going on a merry-go-round of insults, accusations, and just mindless hate. And again, I started doing this gig because I wanted to share and hear other people's opinions, knowing full well that there's never going to be anyone out there I meet who has the exact same opinions that I do, and that's a good thing. I get the notion of defending your stance, especially in the face of unjust hate, and I will always appreciate those who do stand up for that but there needs to be a better way to do it without matching it with more hate or causing infighting over nothing. We need to respect each other, even in indifference, and be the bigger man in those situations where those, are on where those out there that we are like clashing with are only doing so to cause strife. We need to remember that sometimes it's best to just walk away instead of continuing the conversation when it's going nowhere. And really, we just need to understand that this kind of mentality going on right now is only going to continue the cycle of hate rather than ward it off. In the end, it's just a show, not life or death. And just because others don't agree with you on a positive or negative front, it doesn't mean you have to have free reign to be as big of an asshole as those toxic sort who are only out there to spoil everyone's fun just for being a fan of an animated show. In summary, I'll just repeat this quote that I think of always in these kind of issues, so maybe someone listening will realize we need to unite in respect for each other, or at least understand there's better ways to combat hate than with equally hateful words. Otherwise, innocent people will continue to be hurt in the crossfire, and this community will be filled with both equally strong levels of joy and creativity, and strong negative sorts that should be just ignored, or warded out, not fought against. So, yeah, words are like swords. If you use them the wrong way, they'll become ugly weapons.